Yeah, I just wanted to show on the uh, oscilloscope um, what this Power Zapper CC2 puts out for voltage. And uh, it's going to get it lined up here perfect, right on zero. And each one of these increments is going to be 5 volts. So, um, and you also notice I'm using the handhelds here. I have the, um, you know, the little probe t attached to them. One's on a negative, one's on a positive. And um, this is the unit right here. And you notice the copper on the copper handhelds, even though I've been using them for many hours, no tarnish. And that's because it's absolute pure copper, and that's essential. In other words, if you use some non-pure copper, it'll turn green. So, you know, this is the unit right here, um, Power Zapper CC2. And I'm going to just turn it on, and you can see the first uh, setting. It goes through uh, several... Um, well, they're consolidated annotated frequency list frequencies, and you can see here's the zero line. This is putting out good amount of power, very good. Five, ten, looks like, you know, I'm going to tell you why it's putting out probably, it's putting out 11 volts. It's putting out 11 volts, and I'll tell you why. I've been using it, all my zappers, and these are, you know, as far as I could tell, there's no problem with any kind of electronics. They're slightly, they're a little bit more than your standard alkaline. Your alkaline batteries, even though they say they're 9 volts, they're really about 10.2 when they're brand new. But these, when you charge them up, they might be like 10.8 or 11 or something like that. I am not exactly sure, but they're a little more, they're 9.6 volt batteries and there's a lot of life I've used this for a lot of hours already I just got it I already used it for a bunch of hours and when it's going and the battery's good you can see this light it's doing one flash it is green it's green and that means the batteries are good when that green light goes to red then you just change the battery but it's got constant current technology, so it's not going to lose power. It's It stays up at good power, but I was looking at how much it actually puts out. Now this scope, even though this is an older analog scope, um, it's well these batteries are actually probably, I just took them off the charger at a little over 11 volts, but it this this thing was just calibrated and stuff even though it's an older analog scope it's in excellent condition it was just calibrated this thing is actually putting out 11 volts so that's excellent that's excellent and with the constant current technology um you know in other words it's got i i think it's what you might call it like an inverter in there or something where it keeps the electrical power up rather than just running it directly off the battery. And I think I'm getting a slight amount more power by using these things. These are the, they're, they're for like, um, I guess for the, they, they're kind of like for games and paintball guns and things like that where they want, because your rechargeable battery is 8.4 volts and that's your standard rechargeable battery. They're actually under what an alkaline battery is. Because all rechargeable batteries go in increments of 1.2 volts. It goes to 1.2, to 2.4, to 4.8, 6, 7.2, and 8.4. And then when they go to 9.6, sometimes they don't, the batteries will not fit in a compartment of a device if it's a real tight fitting compartment, but these will fit. So, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm very impressed because. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's going to be other reviews. I think uh, uh, I'm going to be getting another zapper, uh, a my zapper, pretty soon because uh, I'm totally convinced that this guy probably has the best zappers on the market. And um, the accuracy is excellent, and the output is excellent, and it's, they're small, they're easy to, they're portable, the whole nine yards, man. So. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that uh, it's, I'm, I'm highly impressed. I'm highly impressed. Anyway, and, uh, you know, I was kind of surprised, too, because I was thinking, you know, I left the uh, 
you know, this wet with tap water and saline solution on these copper hell and hells for the last, I don't know, I guess a couple days now. And no tarnish. That's because it's a high quality, very pure copper. So this zapper is very easy to use. And it's got a lot of frequencies. There's 29 frequencies in this CC2 para zapper. So, uh, and believe me, the 100% positive offset which you're showing it is a hundred percent true positive offset let's see if I, sh I shut this off here's your zero line and let's see if I could bring this down I don't know if I, I don't know if my scope is accurate enough to uh, check to see if there's like a little bit of a you know yeah it does show it if you look carefully, that's the zero line, and when you put this on, it is a hair above the zero line, so it's not even going all the way down to zero. That's interesting in itself, too. So there's a little bit of, um, it, 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 it is right to specifications by what Holder Clark says, not to go absolutely to zero, so it is a hair over it, so that's pretty interesting, and it's sitting right at 11 volts. That's a powerful little puppy in a small package and this one has 29 frequencies uh, that are very accurate for considering the size of this device so just want to put this out here for anybody who's looking for a little more technical information on zappers and things like that this is uh, this is definitely a high quality zapper I should also note that, you know, sometimes people might be looking at this and are confused. Why do you want to use a zapper? And you can see how big, how small this zapper is. For all the capabilities and power and 29 frequencies. And he's, there's better models in this, actually, that he, the power zapper offers. But the whole point is the contact method is a pretty strong method. The only one that's stronger than that is the plasma method, in my opinion. But the contact method is a fairly strong method. But the problem is, if you're tied to a larger device and you have to have it plugged in a wall, and it's you, this you can just take with you anywhere. It, it's small. It's like the size of a cell phone. The, the tubes fit directly in the hands. They're not. It's it's like it's nothing. It's nothing. You can fit this in a little pouch and uh, take it with you. So that's that's the whole beauty of it. And you know, once you buy it, you use the good quality and the rechargeable batteries. Hey, you never buy nothing again. So uh, I'm, it's uh, you know, I'm impressed with it. I am personally.